In this video, we are going to learn how to deploy a Python Flask sample application using DevOps Starter Project. In Azure Dashboard, there is a template DevOps Starter Project you can choose and you can select a type of framework or application and we can make it deploy automatically with any change in your code base. So we are going to choose one DevOps starter project and deploy it with any change in our code base on GitHub. So let's get started. Go to portal.azure.com and click on create a new resource. Here search for DevOps on the left hand side and the first one you see is DevOps starter. Click on that. Here you will see different framework Please choose Python as we are going to deploy a sample Flask application. Select Python, click on next and we are going to select the framework that is Flask, click on next. Now select an Azure service to deploy the application. So you can deploy it on Linux web app or web app for container. So I am going to select first one. Then choose your organization and uh, repository so basically this organization is from my github account i have already authorized it if you are doing it for the first time it is going to ask you for the authorization filling up all the details you can click on review and create it's provisioning the request the deployment is in progress now it is quite similar to the resources we have created before. The only difference is that we are creating this resource from DevOps Startup app. Okay, the deployment is complete now. You can click on go to resource. So it's asking to authorize the GitHub workflow. You can click on authorize. let's click on build and test so it has actually started building it you can see all the steps here and it's gonna take some time so at this step it is trying to deploy to azure web app once it deploys it will give you a url click on deploy to azure app and at the end you will see the url so let's copy it and try to access it in a new tab might take some time as it is the first time and it is freshly deployed so maybe due to caching it's not yet cached okay it's up now so this is a sample flask application which has been deployed click on go to resource and here you can see all the activities that we have done the app service flask devops go to github account and under your username you will see a new repository has been crea created click under your username and go to repositories see the first one flask demo this is the one which got created automatically so this is the one which we have deployed just now and it got created automatically with just a template and the code base was created even the even the resource were created and it was deployed automatically here in templates we have index.html we are going to make some changes here and upon making changes it should trigger the deployment as well so we are going to do that let's make some change here so instead of continuous delivery we are going to change this text to continuous delivery by Ajit and let's update a commit message and commit it here in the flask demo click on authorize and it is going to fetch the details from github account and you can see there is a commit update index.html and it has not been published published as in it is not yet deployed 
so this is the latest commit and it has automatically fetched it so you got all the details here and right now this change is not yet applied on the website so you still see continuous delivery and not continuous delivery by Ajit if you click on this it will take you to the actions page on github under this repository and you see this pipeline and the pipeline deployed on, on Azure web app still running so the status is in progress so it is automatically deploying it so let's wait for it it's green now it's deployed and it will it's on next step let's try to refresh it hooray so this has been deployed now you can see the change we have made so it's quite simple to create our application also the pipeline resource using just a startup pack all these steps have been made quite easy by azure